Hello and welcome to the Bane Pick video for the Toronto Raptors at Phoenix Suns. I'm your host, Matthew Ma from Lamps.com, and I am joined here by Jason Gilbo and Drew Norton, our two resident NBA experts. We got the Canadians against the desert people, as you can see on screen. And uh, Jason, who do you like at the uh, minus five spread? I I like the uh, what did you what did you call them? the desert people? <laughs> no, what's the other one? Uh, I guess the Canadians. <laughs> yeah, I'm rolling with the Raptors here. Um, and both teams have actually been kind of slipping a little bit of late. Injuries have been a big part of that. Um, Chris Paul being out, Devin Booker missing a few games. Although Booker's back tonight. Um, OG Anobi is, is out, but Fred Van Lee is back. And that's obviously a big factor for the Toronto offense, which did kind of look a little sluggish without him. Um, I expect them to obviously put up a, a pretty decent game tonight. Defenses have been slipping. We know Chris Paul, um, you know, is, is still a big actually part of that defense. Um, Cameron Payne is not going to be a defensive point card. And that's actually big tonight when it comes to slowing down Van Vliet. With that being said, um, <sighs> You know, this is going to be a game where I think both teams rely heavily on their starting fives, and it's going to be a pretty even matchup, but I think the Raptors just have enough talent to kind of keep this one close. I don't know if they pull off a win, although I think the the plus 175 money line is intriguing um, in this one, but I do think the plus five is is just big enough for me to warrant, you know, going with the spread here. Um, this was a four-point game last time these two played, and overall, I think a lot of it just comes down to you know, getting Gary Trent back, making his shots. Um, you know, he's been a little bit slow coming out of the all-star break after that hot February. And then we look, Cam Johnson is out. He's actually been a major factor for the Suns offense over the last few weeks without Paul. And without him, you know, you're, you're actually kind of missing 15 to 25 points. Um, that's kind of where he's been at. So I know the Phoenix Suns are a pretty deep team. They're going to have that advantage and, and possibly roll some guys in and, and get that kind of potential from someone else. But um, the way Pascal Siakam has been playing Ben Vili, I expect Gary Trent to bounce back in a good spot with, with Phoenix kind of struggling against perimeter shooting during this stretch. This game will be close. And I think five is just a little bit too big. And uh, Drew, you're tasked with, uh, the two twenty two and a half over under. Where are you feeling on that? Well, so it moved in the last 30 seconds. Um, yeah, it was at two twenty three when I last looked about 30 seconds ago. Uh, so 225 and a half. Yeah, I, I like the under in this spot. The under's hit or pushed with this number for Toronto in five straight games for Phoenix, three of their past five. Obviously, you have no Chris Paul, you have no Cam Johnson. I sort of am projecting the Suns at times to be stagnant offensively. And similarly for the Raptors, obviously, Phoenix has a top five, top six defense in the NBA in most key statistical categories. So you know, I definitely think that's going to play a factor. Raptors are only missing OG and Anobi, so, you know, nothing big. They will have players back, and they will have firepower. Um, I do agree with Jay. I think five is too big of a number. I think at two and a half or three, that's maybe a little bit more. Yeah, probably around three is probably a little bit more appropriate, so five is a little bit too big, but I like the point total at 223 or 223 and a half, 222 and a half. I still like it, but you're kind of flirting a little bit with where I think the value is at. So 223, 224, pretty good, pretty good undervalue there, in my opinion. All right. Any of the uh, team total over unders, Jason Drew, that you like? We got 108 and a half for the Raptors, 113 and a half for the Suns. I mean, not unless you're taking the unders, um, which I'm not really that comfortable in doing tonight. Um, and the overs are kind of juiced up to minus 120. So exactly. Yeah, no, not for me. All right. Then we're moving on to the player props. And uh, Jason, it's your time to shine. The Fred Van Vliet assist is priced up quite a bit. Um, if you want to take an alternative assist number, I think you can go, you know, seven plus and hopefully limit that down a bit. Even eight I'd be intrigued with. But um, I do expect Van Vliet to have a, a big game tonight and 20 and a half points. You know, they're, for me, the Raptors need to keep this game close. Van Vliet needs to be a scorer. Um, this is a guy who can shoot really well from three. You know, his threes are also intriguing. As I said, the the Phoenix defense has struggled a little bit against the perimeter defense. I mean, 
last five games, I mean, point guards are shooting 48% from three. They're averaging 2.8 per game. Um, the defensive efficiency has been de- decent, um, but they they've clearly have missed, you know, Chris Paul in that defensive role. And, you know, I could see Mikal Bridges kind of being a guy who tries to lock down Van Vliet, but like then you're leaving, you know, Gary Trent open. Um, you know, Jake Crowder is going to probably be on, on Siakam. So I think Van Vliet's actually going to get a free hand here and that's going to benefit him. All right. Over 20 and a half. Did you, do you want to see what a 20 plus points and seven plus assists gets you on the same game parlay? Yeah. Let's do yeah, it. Let's do it. I'm going to get the error. That's what's going to happen. <laughs> That's yeah. It's, uh, his points and assists are very correlated, you know, <laughs> So stupid. All right. Assist van fleet. Uh, let's go seven plus gets you plus two thirty five. Yeah. Let's, let's add that baby there. I don't, I mean, I agree with you. It's like the five and a half is juiced up, but I would based on the limited research I did before this game, I would have put his line at six and a half. So I really like seven plus and 20 plus points at plus two thirty five. It's one that I'm like not super comfortable with, but the, that value is ridiculously great for, I think the odds of it happening. Yeah. I mean, and he's a guy who plays such heavy minutes. Like, I, I mean, you know, he played 34 just instantly coming back from missing a few games. Like Nick nurse rides these guys. So, you know, he's going to be out there for 38 minutes, especially in a close game. Um, he didn't hit that assist mark in the Spurs, but like going back, this is a guy who can put up 24, 25 and nine, you know, relatively easily. Like he's, he's, he's one of the best point guards actually in the game right now. Strong words from Jason Gilbo. Drew, your time. Old statement, Cotton. See how it works out for him. <laughs> um, I like a small little FanDuel three-legger. I like Booker, four-plus assists, Booker, 20-plus points, and Bridges, 10-plus points. So Bridges, obviously, will just start there. He's a 10-plus point machine. Without Chris Paul, he's at, he's seeing a higher usage, more shots even. He backdoors people like – it's it's funny. It's like literally like sometimes it looks like sixth graders like losing their man and he backdoors them and gets easy buckets or he'll – We'll do that thing where he catches the ball, goes into the mid post, two dribbles, turns back middle, post fade from about nine, 10 feet. And it's, he's got to be shooting that with like an 80% efficiency. Like it's unbelievable. So I like Bridges to hit 10 plus points very easily. Without Chris Paul, Booker has had at least five assists in every single game and at least 23 points in every single game. So four assists and 20 points. Very, very doable. And obviously Bridges, seven of, of eight Bridges games, he's hit at least 11 points. And in his last game without Paul, he had 21. So I think Booker, you know, he's going to have a higher usage, be relied upon more in playmaking scenarios, not just scoring. And I think that's going to be beneficial for, for him in the spot. And since Jason mentions it, that's at minus 114 right now on FanDuel. So, you know, a little bit of juice, but not – not too terrible um, for kind of what you're getting, in my opinion. But I'd be interested to throw those three on top of Jason's uh, Van Fleet um, props and see what that looks like. So I was going to say on DraftKings, you can do it, but you have to pick third. You can't go down the 10 for Mikkel Bridges. You can do 13 plus and it gets you plus 120. Um, I'm about to do it on a FanDuel. So... If you do six plus assists instead of seven plus assists, you do six plus assists with Van Vliet and 20 plus points, you get plus 544. With all five? With all five. What? Yeah. I kind of like that. Yeah. All right. When it comes to my player props, I was telling Jason and Drew, I mean, if I'm honest with the audience, you guys already know this. I've said it several times. This is my first season, like truly, truly back following the NBA after it's been a couple of years. Where I'm trying to watch most of the or a lot of the games, trying to research more. We haven't covered the Raptors once, so I really it was kind of a little bit of a hole in my knowledge. So I was looking them up. The best I can do for you is say that Fred Van Vliet and uh, Gary Trent Jr. sound like a singing duo. Like that sounds like a concert more than a team. But I digress. Um, 
<laughs> the player prop I like, and I went back to this before with Chris Paul out. Um, it's Devin Booker over two and a half assists. It's not that I think he has a bad game. I just think his usage rate is so ridiculously high with Chris Paul out. And then, as you guys said, Cam Johnson out. That having three turnovers seems bound to happen against the Toronto Raptors. I mean, oh, I, turnovers, you mean? Over yeah. two and a half turnovers? Oh, yes. Okay. What do you think I said? Well, you yeah, did say assists. assists. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I am legitimately going insane. I'm going to go get a brain scan because in my own head, I definitely said turnovers. Um, <laughs> that's not good. Pray for me. Hashtag pray for Matt. Hashtag save Matt. Thoughts and prayers. <laughs> well, that gave me time to salt. So he's had, he had two turnovers against Miami, played a really good game, but before that, three, four, four, three, four. So this is a prop that is hitting at a pretty good rate. And I think last game was an anomaly where you'd expect those turnovers to actually go up without Chris Ball, and I think they do. Um, the Miami just played like trash. Uh, this is going to be a closer game, like Jason said. Minus 130, again, not the best value. Shop it around, but I, I do really like the line at two and a half. That's probably where I want it. So you could also mix this with some of the other bets we've talked about. Maybe you do almost a round robin with the Van Fleet uh, same game parlay that, J uh, oh my God, Jason talked about. See, my brain's not working. It's not working with me. All right. That's going to wrap it up me, for me. Let me add on to that real quick. I, yeah, go ahead. I really actually really like that one. Um, Toronto's forcing 4.1 turnovers per game um, to opposing shooting guards this year, especially ball handlers. Um, and like you said, like it's campaign being back is a little bit because um, he will be some of the kind of pick, pick and roll stuff and like will, you know, handle the ball a little bit more. But I agree that Booker is going to be in there. Um, but yeah, I think Darren Smuckers um, over two and a half. As the turnovers is very solid. <laughs> oh man, we are all over the place on this episode. <laughs> Do we got any <laughs> any last <laughs> thoughts, Drew? Oh, before I wrap no. up this fever dream of we a Friday, we better wrap this up, man. We better wrap this up before somebody says something they don't mean. And <laughs> we <get> all right, <laughs> so we got we got Poutine plus five against the Tuscan Raiders. <laughs> We got under 222 and a half points. R Fred Van Fleet. It's so hard to say. Fred Van Fleet over 20 and a half. I do not wish that name upon any commentator. Fred Van Fleet over 20 and 7 plus assists at plus 235. Booker, 4 plus assists, 13 plus points for Mikel Bridges and 20 plus points for Booker at plus 120. Then Devin Booker to turn that ball over over two and a half times at minus 130. Let Bobby Portis be with you today and all of your bet slips. We hope you enjoyed. Hit the like if you liked. Hit the dislike if you didn't. Comment down below your favorite bets. And uh, it's going to wrap up Bobby Portis week. Thank you guys for watching. And we'll see you for the next one on Monday very soon.